this in this strategy it is called branching method or the remainder concept now in some books or some of your teachers may call it the three concept or the three strategy okay or three branch strategy okay it doesn't matter okay now let's take a look at the details of this strategy yeah so when do we use this strategy and so on okay now in this uh, branching method or the remainder concept it is usually to deal with fractions or percentage of remainders so the keyword that is usually used is of the remainder all right so usually uh, it can come in the topic of fractions sometimes in the topic of percentage and it is always easier to work with uh, fractions so remember i i've told you in the past session uh, percentage remainder uh, percentage uh, fractions and ratio they are very closely related all right so if you are given fractions you can convert to percentage and you can convert to ratio likewise when you are given a number or a percentage you can convert to fractions or ratio very easily okay so we are going to use uh, two strategies number one model the other one is the branching method eh? all right let's take a look at this question mr tan used one quarter of his salary and gave one third of the remainder to his mother he gave the rest of his money to his wife what fraction of his total salary did he give to his wife? Okay, so this is a quite a straightforward question and a model is uh, perfectly fine uh, to answer this question. Now, let's take a look here. So Mr. Tan used one quarter of his salary, okay, one quarter. And what is the remainder? Okay, this is the remainder, three units. So, or three quarter is the remainder. So out of these three units, he gave one third. Okay, he gave one third of the remainder. So in this question is very easy since the remaining is okay. There are three units here. So one out of three, okay, he gave to mother, and he gave the rest to his wife. So the remaining here, this unit and this unit give to his wife to his wife. So what fraction of his total salary did he give to his wife? So you can see very clearly it is two out of four or half. Okay, very very simple. All right. Okay, let's move on to the slightly more challenging question. Eh? Okay, half of the class were boys, two-thirds of the boys, and one quarter of the girls in the class were Chinese. What fraction of the total number of students were Chinese? Okay, so when the question gets more complicated, so model method will be quite uh, you know quite challenging, right? Okay, let's take a look at this question using model method. Eh? Now, half of the class were boys, so you have one out of okay uh, so total they are okay boys half girls half right okay so this half this is half right? so out of half two thirds of the boys are chinese so you can see here one two three units right so two out of three units are chinese but what about the girls here girls they say that one quarter of the girls were chinese Okay, so one quarter. So for this units here, we need to break it down into four smaller parts. One, two, three, four. So out of these four units or four smaller parts, one out of four of the girls are Chinese. Okay, can you see the complication here? Uh, the, can we straight away compare? Okay, they ask you how many what is the fraction of the total number of students who are Chinese? Can we just say 1, 2, 3 out of 7? Can we use that? No, right? Why? Because the number of parts here and here, they are of different size. Okay, so this is for different size, so we cannot do it. So before we can uh, compare and proceed further, we need to make the, the units the same. All right, which is a little bit complicated in the topic uh, when we use the model method okay, let's take a look here okay so for the boys what we do is that since two thirds of the boys and one quarter of the girls are chinese so we need to use the concept of lowest common multiple to make the denominator the same so two out of three boys and one out of four so the lcm of three and four is 12 right uh, so times four here so times four so the numerator, so you remember to times four, right? So you get eight out of 12. 
Okay, you get eight out out of twelve. Okay, likewise for girls, you multiply by three. And the numerator also, you multiply by three. You get three out of twelve. So after we make the uh, lowest, the after we make the denominator the same, then we can make comparison. So we can see here the number of units for boys, okay, Chinese boys are eight, and for girls are three. So total is eleven out of twenty-four. How we get twenty-four? We just count now: huh? one, two, three, and so on until twenty-four units, smaller units here. So you can see here you need to divide. One bar, you need to divide, or one unit, you need to divide into 12 smaller parts. Okay, so I know some of you, your handwriting is not very, you know, not very nice, uh, small, you know, you, uh, so you tend to make mistakes when doing modern method. All right, so that's why uh, I'm going to show you now they're using the branching method. Huh? So uh, it will work for, you know, some of you. All right, some of you are more comfortable, but I hope that all of you will make the effort to learn and uh, to be able to use it uh, especially in questions where you need to uh, you know you, you need to wait very small or you need to cut the models into smaller pieces uh, which is quite uh, difficult right this is only 12 imagine you have to cut to 20 uh, 72 units or 72 parts okay it's going to get quite messy yeah okay so the next method or the alternative method that i'm going to show you is the branching method all right let's take a look uh. same question Mr. Tan used one quarter of his salary and gave one third of the remainder to his mother and he gave the rest of his money to the wife. Okay, so earlier question, the, uh, okay, we used modern method. Now let's, let's uh, I, I purposely put this together, modern method and the branching method so you can see the, the difference and the similarities, okay? So total salary, right? So out of the total salary, we do not know the total, right? So we just put salary or sometimes I just put T, yeah? T stands for total. So one quarter he used, right? He used one quarter, which is similar to this part here. And remainder, remainder three quarter, right? So how do I get three quarter? From here, right? One whole minus one quarter, I get three quarter. So three quarter is the remainder. So out of this remainder, one third off. Now what does off means? Off means multiply, huh? One third of the remainder he gave to his mother. Okay, he gave to his mother. Now if one third of the remainder he gives to his mother. So the remaining two third he gave to his wife. Now how do we get two third? One whole minus one third. Okay, I repeat again. One whole minus one third, you get two third. So this two third of the remainder, okay, he gave to his wife. Now remember, of means multiply, right? So one third multiplied by three quarter, I cancel the three. Okay, I get one quarter. And for the wife, two-third of three-quarter, two-third multiplied by three-quarter, I get half. Okay, half. Huh? Cancel here, cancel here. And I simplify, I get half. Now, how much he used for himself? One quarter. How much he gave to his mother? One quarter. And how much he gave to his wife? Half. Now, take note, eh? many students are confused eh? between this half which he gave to his wife and this two-third which he gave to his wife. Now, anyone can tell me what's the difference between half year and two third year when you know both of these are labeled the same as wife. Anyone? Okay, anyone of you? Shami, can you tell the difference? Why wife year is two third, but wife year is half? Are you all listening? Come on. You didn't hear? Okay, what happened? Okay, Zafir say of many times, two thirds of the remainder, Iman. Okay, Nasib, you're confused. It's half of the sorry, volume full. Okay, uh, Nakib, you have to, you know, uh, turn up your volume a little bit. It's multiplied. Yes, it's multiplied, but what is the difference between this two third for wife and this half? Given to the wife also. What's the difference? Ah, Shami, very good. Okay, so Shami has mentioned correctly here that this two third, which is given to the wife, is two third of the remainder, which is three quarter. All right? And this half, 
after you calculate two third of the remainder is the final fraction. What do I mean by final fraction here? Now this half is half of the total. Ah, half of the total. That means half of his total salary he gave to his wife. Right? And one quarter of the total he gave to himself, he used himself. And one quarter of the total, or of the, his total salary, he gave to his mother. All right? So that is the, the main difference. Okay? All right. Now let's take a look at uh, this question. Okay, let's use the branching method for this question, which we did using the model method earlier. Okay, half of the class were boys. So you can see here, this is the total number of students. Okay, total. Right, half boys. If half boys, the remaining half must be girls, right? So out of these boys, two-thirds of the boys were Chinese. So two-thirds of the boys. Of means multiply. Eh? Of means multiply. Okay, two-thirds of the boys are Chinese. So the balance one-third must represent the non-Chinese, right? So if two-thirds Chinese, the one-third remaining is the non-Chinese. One quarter of the girls were Chinese. So out of the girls, one quarter of, of means multiply. So the remainder, three quarter is non-Chinese. Okay, so what we do here, we draw a line, we draw a straight line here, and we compute the final fraction. Okay, we compute the final fraction, where this final fraction represents the fraction of the total number of students, not of the remainder, of the total number of students okay okay let's compute eh? now two third of the boys of means times two third times half i will get one third right cancel cancel i get one third here so this one third means out of the total number of students and out of the boys one third of the total number of boys are chinese okay so one third of the Total number of students are Chinese boys. Chinese girls, what fraction of the total number of students? 1 over 8. How do you get 1 over 8? 1 quarter of half. Or 1 quarter times half. I get 1 over 8. Oh, Mirza, uh, too loud, is it? Okay, okay sorry. Eh? Okay, I thought uh, I'm a bit too, uh, too soft. Alright, so non-Chinese would be Okay, three quarter multiplied by half. Okay, so what fraction of the total number of students were Chinese? So one third plus one over eight. Okay, one third plus one over eight. I use the lowest common multiple. I find lowest common multiple for the denominator, which is 24. So I add eight plus three. I get 11 out of 24. Final answer. Okay. All right. So what's the advantage of the branching method? Number one, it allows us to see the different parts of the total at a glance. Okay, you can see everything, uh, the entire branch, you can see at a glance what is the final fraction. Okay, and number two, it is efficient. Compared to drawing models, okay, you have to cut into, you may have to cut into smaller parts, especially when the numbers are bigger. Okay, so, so you may, you know, you make mistake in drawing, right, careless mistake unnecessarily, yeah? And it is also very useful for questions involving the remainder concept. Okay? All right? All of you understand? Okay, I will take some questions uh, at this point of time. Anyone of you not very clear? Okay, now say very good. Hamza, you understand, huh? Very well. Okay, no problem. If you don't understand, uh, I don't expect everyone to understand immediately, yeah? So that's why uh, this webinar session is very useful so that you can, you know, you can uh, replay it again and again and again until you understand. Huh? If you still don't understand, I will explain to you in the in, in our weekly classes. And sometimes you, you know, you have to do a few questions yourself so that you understand how to apply the strategies to the various kinds of questions. Huh? And please bear in mind that there are many different variations to the branching method. I'm teaching you right now is just the basic branching method. Okay, there, there are many more complex branching methods. Okay, so as and when uh, we see those kind of questions in class, we will discuss. All right, but at least 
you know the basic. All right. So when you know the basic, you will be able to apply to the more complex question. Okay. Okay, Zikran asks, what is remainder multiplied by remainder? Why remainder multiplied by the remainder? All right. Uh, are you referring to this question here? This question or the earlier question? The second question? Okay, so the, in the second question here, two thirds of the boys, okay, since uh, second remainder, all right, so this is the final fraction here. So this final fraction represents the, the number of Chinese boys of the total number of students. Likewise for, for girls here, all right, so one eighth of the, uh, one eighth of the total number of students are Chinese girls. Of course, you can go on to also calculate the number of or the fraction of non-Chinese boys. So what you do is that one third multiply by by half. Okay. So you can go on to do that, but in this particular question, it's not necessary. It's not necessary. Why? Because they did not ask. Okay. So because they asked you what fraction of the total number were Chinese. All right. So in this question, it is not necessary for you to calculate the a fraction of non-Chinese boys. Okay, you can calculate also, we should get one over six. Likewise, for non-Chinese girls, it will be three quarter multiplied by half. So you get three out of eight. Okay. 